to select stitches and change their settings on the Singer Featherweight C240 sewing machine, it's as easy as touching a button. So when you turn the machine on, you'll be right to the straight stitch, zero, zero. But if you wanna go ahead and go to a zigzag, go ahead and touch zero, two. Now, if you're wondering which foot to use, touch the eye and it will tell you the foot number. So that was a zero A, which is the foot we have on. Just remember to engage the Singer integrated even feed system. That's the part that comes down on the back side of that foot. That way you don't have any fabric rolling around. This truly gives you nice even stitches. Now as you're sewing, so we're on a zigzag for example, you can increase the stitch width while you're sewing. And when you do so, that little red light comes on indicating that while I'm sewing, I can look up here, oh yeah, I changed the setting. Now you can touch either button to bring up the number of what you changed it to. Now the easiest way to clear out a setting is just to reselect that same stitch number. So if I select stitch zero two, notice the red light disappears and I'm back at the machine's default setting of width and length that I might have changed. So once again, if you wanted to make the zigzag longer, push the stitch length button and watch, it will grow while you go. So let's see here, we can make it, oh, four and a half millimeters in length. That makes a really long zigzag. We can also shorten the stitch length so it becomes nice and close like for a satin stitch. We can do that also. So let's go back to zero, zero because the one thing people do change a lot is stitch length. So if you want a, a smaller stitch length or a longer stitch length for say thicker fabric, you'll notice when we start to work with denim fabric or go over a thick seam, I'll make that stitch length much, much longer. So once again, you can go as far as 4.5 for stitch length. That's a nice long stitch. Could even be used for a basting stitch if you'd like. Now, the other thing that you can do with a straight stitch is move the needle position. So to move a needle position, you actually use the needle, the stitch width options. So to move the needle to the left, keep touching the minus sign until you get all the way over to zero. So now your needle's way over here. Once again, you can change it while you're sewing and it will move the needle. Did you see how many needle positions you had in this machine? It's a lot. Now, if you just wanna go back to normal setting, remember, just go ahead and do the same number or pick another number and come back. That will also clear it out. All the lights disappear and you know that you're back to the default setting. You can also turn the machine off and on and that will also clear out those settings.